Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time you are watching me. My name is Vic and uh, I'm here to discuss the whole procedure of change of sponsorship according to the labor laws that were passed in the year 2020. Uh, of course, I'm going to discuss the whole process from step one to the last step. So in this case, according to the labor law of 2020, you don't need an NOC to transfer to another company while you're in Qatar except domestic employees so allow me allow me to begin with if you haven't subscribed please make sure you subscribe and uh, for those who are looking for forward to get approvals and you need your application to be made a follow-up so that you can get your approval fast you can always reach out to me the number is always on the screen whatsapp me and uh, explain your situation then I will know how to help you from there so the whole process of changing sponsorship starts with you getting a new job offer from a new company so basically if you have been working with a certain company for a year or two years or even more or even less than a year and you are not satisfied with the current uh, maybe salary or the working conditions or other benefits that you're supposed to get then you can change your mind at any given time and change your sponsorship to a different employer or even if you have gotten a new job opportunity that's better for you salary wise and condition wise then you are free to cancel your current contract with your current employer at any given point as long as if you have worked a year or less you give a one month notice period and if you have worked two years and above you're supposed to give a two month notice period but it's not necessary that you have to follow all those procedures or those not uh, periods. You can always um, get a notification from Adlisa. If you, apply, you apply from the Ministry of Labor's website from Adlisa, then it will give a notification to your sponsor. It can be even two days, even without a notice period. If you have waiver letters, it can be two weeks. You know, It all depends on the Ministry of Labor on how it decides. So this is where I come in for those who wants to do follow-ups so that you can move to your new company quick. Then you can always reach out to me. I'll help you make the follow-ups. The number is on the screen. So guys, let's start uh, from step one up to the last step. So the first thing, as I have said, you need to look for a job offer and be given an offer letter by a new company. Then the new company should be paying you a salary more than the one you are earning in your current company and the second thing is you have to prepare a resignation letter you don't have to give the resignation letter to your current company for approval or for a stamp or for a signature you don't need to do that and then this resignation letter once you have made it you will also need uh, your current contract copy of your current contract with the company you are working with then um, you will need a computer card of your current company and your new company uh, computer card is actually the establishment card you will get the establishment card it also has a number of the current company you are working in then you will need um, your QID of course a copy of your QID which is uh, both sides the front and back page and then you will need a signed form of change of sponsorship or change of employer form you can always get that from the Ministry of Labor's website okay so once you have this form it has two sections one for the employee that's you and one for your new employer so you will fill in the information that is required and you sign then the same document will be signed by your new employer they will stamp and also sign so that form is a must because it's one of the requirements while you are uploading your application on the website of the Ministry of Labor. That's the Adlisa website. And then um, once you have all these documents, I'll repeat them so that you can always remember. Contract of your old company, uh, offer letter from the new company, computer card of both companies, res resignation letter, your QID and signed change of employer form all these documents are important and if you are lucky enough that you have been given an NOC then you will attach the NOC with the resignation letter and 
if you are even lucky that your company provides for you everything and is even giving you a release letter clearance and waiver you will always attach all the documents in a section called other documents at the application portal okay so once you have done all this you will receive an otp during submission the otp will be sent directly to your phone number and this phone number must be the one registered with or linked with your metrash or your qid so once you receive the otp you will enter it on the ministry's website for application of change of sponsorship then it will allow you to attach the documents there are three sections uh, which is the uh, change of employer form section other documents and a resignation letter uh, a section then you will have to enter your new sponsors establishment card number or computer card number once you have done that then you are able to tick and submit so once you submit guys you're going to receive a very special number which is the application number known as the ec number employer change number that's if you are changing from one company to another if you are changing from a company to personal then you will get an fc number and for those who are applying for leaving the country which is not necessary you will get an lc number okay so once you have received your ec number in uh, the messages for submission nowadays delay it can take uh, one day two days three days even a week or two to receive a message that you have submitted successfully but that does not mean that you have not applied you can always uh, check your application online okay using the same process and then once you receive your first message which is that your application has been submitted successfully you it, you will get an ec number and then you will wait for some time now this one ranges between uh one to two days up to even four weeks to eight weeks for you to get a not period message which is mostly considered as the approval message so if you see that your messages have delayed your approval or not period are delayed then you can always contact me on my whatsapp number it's always on the screen and i'll help you follow up to get the approvals first another thing so once you have received the notes period then you'll have to serve the notes period according to the labor laws you are supposed to stay in the current company you continue working until the last day of your notes period then you'll be able to move to your new company so on the last day of your notes period you will receive two more messages a reminder of your notes period and another one is a vp number which is a requirement that will be used during attestation of the contract to follow up for the processing of your new kid in your new company okay so the vp number is very important once you receive it you immediately inform the new company and you move to their company so that they can take the vp number use it to attest your contract they will give you a contract which you will sign and they will also sign and stamp it then it will be uploaded on the ministry of interiors portal and then the uh your contract will be approved by the minister of labor and your qid will be processed once the fee has been paid so the whole process of your qid after you have signed the the contract it will take a week or two for you to get your new qid and your fully sponsorship will be now in a new company and once you have done all this some people will always ask and how do i get my final settlement and gratitude this one is given once you have received your new qid from a new sponsor once you have successfully changed your sponsorship is when you go back with your new qid to ask for your final settlement uh, you can watch the video i've already done the video for final settlement gratitude you can always watch them so for this video we are done and at that point you will have joined your new company and your new job that you have always been dreaming so guys uh, that's it for today if you have any other questions inquiries advice uh you want your application to be followed up you want to cancel the application for change of sponsorship or you have any issue with your current company always feel free to reach out to me and ask for advice the number is above and for those who have not subscribed make sure you subscribe like the video share to your friends who need this information because it's important and guys as i have always promised everyone 
has a right to change jobs within Qatar at any given point. But for uh, domestic workers, I'm going to do a different video for you. So stay tuned. That's it for today, guys. And peace out. My name is Vic. I sign out. Thank you.